Today, I want to talk about something not close to my heart, but close to my wife's heart. Breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just became parents and I've been thinking a bit about breastfeeding and then I came across what is arguably either the funniest or most fucked up comment that <laughs> I have ever seen. Also, huge thanks to Cat Mountain, our sponsor. More on them later. Hey, Megan. Oh, my. Nice. Welcome to Depravity Land. The podcast about the worst content on the internet. Be your pants challenge. We're not just telling these stories for nothing. Yeah, the gay potion. We have this theory that our real world is being replaced by an online depraved dystopia. Slit. And this podcast is the proof. Let's do it. Are we doomed? <laughs> Or are we going to be okay? Chillfully thus far. Wow. And breastfeeding, it can be divisive weirdly. Like for <laughs> something that's like everyone tries to do it at least once probably in their life or for, for everyone that's listening to this has probably attempted to have a titty in their mouth like as a baby. <laughs> it's weirdly controversial. It's something so commonplace. So I'm, I'm curious. Let's go. Depravity Land. Think of the children edition. Breastfeeding. We are going to be talking about breastfeeding now, which, uh, side note, you always see so much of those like weird little like hangovers of an old world where it was really fun to shame each other, you know? And that you, oh, yeah. you'll see those like stupid little quotes that'll be like, breast is best. Uh, like the best one that I've seen recently is that like fed is best. Just to be like, <laughs> yeah, no, that is 100% true. And there is no need to put anybody in any kind of like shame corner. It's not 100 and zero. Yeah, while they're going yeah. through like literally the most high stakes, terrifying thing of their entire life. <laughs> Here are some more rules and shame. Yeah, completely. However, today's case is exactly that. Some shame, some terrifying shame around breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. But before we get to that, I want to talk about how I found this. There I was, scrolling Reddit. Wow, you were Redditor. I know, I know. My fedora With was With your fedora on. and anime pillow. Yeah, and totally. Like, please. Please. And I'm like, no. Can I have some space in the bed? No, you and my waifu, we are the thruple. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, no, it was like, call it midnight or whatever, because I'm a badass who Ooh. stays up past my bedtime. Dude, and I am blue light? scrolling Reddit. <laughs> oh, wow, blue light at midnight. <laughs> Epic. Anyway, uh, you know, it's just like basically <laughs> similar shit to what we talk about, I think. I was just like, you know, when you find yourself on just like, all right, what's horrible? Yeah. What is just absolutely horrible and depraved. Yeah. And I end up on this thread of this subreddit, which is called Bad Women's Anatomy. Now, mm. I'll give you a quick taste of my favorite post from it. Uh, it's, a, it's an ad, like a... Why don't you describe it for people? Oh, it sort of just looks like a an ad, you know, like on a, I don't know, pirated movie website or anything like that. It's sort of, you know, where it's all at the bottom of an article, you know, news.com or whatever. Outbrain they'll, mode. There'll be like mm. scientists hate him sort mm -hmm, of sort mm -hmm. of uh, art style. And there are like four things that you can do. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce just read them. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. Um, not awesome, but like Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> choose current body type. Can we describe the body types? There's skinny, plump, obese, and normal. Yes. And the problem with the normal <laughs> is it's like... This is the difference between normal and the other the other type. So skinny and normal have big boobs. Oh, so does so does plump. Hell and, yeah! And obese. This is then, the boob podcast. But then normal has like a six pack and a huge behind. Like it's <laughs> behind. like <laughs> like normal is got a junk in the trunk oh. and a massive six pack, whereas everyone else is. I mean, is just sort of. Skinny is skinny, plump is skinny, obese is still on the skinny side, and then normal is just jacked. <laughs> like normal is like could squat one sixty. Yeah, like no normal's that, on that lean beef patty grind. With that, with that behind, you can squat. That something behind, there's heavy, that word bro. again. Well, I'm going medical, <laughs> bro. You a behind guy? <laughs> Shit, you a behind guy? Um, let's just put it this way. <laughs> is that your dirty talk? Are you ever just yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. damn girl? <laughs> damn girl, that behind's got me razzed up. <laughs> I've got to find that behind. <laughs> X marks the spot for the booty, as they say. <laughs> Damn. You know, like rappers like that, behind. Like they say behind. Oh my gosh. That's how I say it. Oh, that's so stupid. I rappers mean, who say that are dumb. We're looking at a stupid graphic. So, uh, no, nah, no, nah, this is dumber. <laughs> it's a bit weird to me. So, it looks like, yeah, one of those things at the bottom where it's like. At the behind. It shows you, at the behind of the article, uh, it shows you, you know. 
how to get to this. Like, if you're skinny fat, do this. If you're if you're an ectomorph, you're a mesomorph. Eat like this. It's one of those. Kind oh, of completely. All right. So now I'm in this subreddit: women's bodies anatomy. Sorry, uh, bad women's anatomy. Right. Sure. And, and I'm having a little giggle, and everything's kind of like it's, it's like just, a normal submission for that subreddit. Yeah, you know, yeah, Someone's yeah. got it wrong. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah. Put it in the totally. subreddit. It's yeah, just yeah. kind of like ill-informed people. A, just a lot of ignorance. It's pretty funny, but then I find one which is so. So wrong and comment. so hate fueled. No, like it's a screenshot of a Facebook comment. Oh sure, yeah. <laughs> Somebody post, just gotcha. posted up there, and oh fuck, man. I think it resonated with me. And you know what? I'm gonna get a little, little fucking spicy here. As a CSA victim, <laughs> hey, we've talked about it on the pod before. We have, yeah, yeah. CSA reveal, no, um, <laughs> yeah, but also as somebody who's now watching, yeah, my wife go through this breastfeeding journey. Mm. This just caught my attention on so many levels. All right, so this it's a guy who wrote this, and they're talking about breastfeeding, and this guy said basically like breastfeeding is wrong, and the person's like, why? Da, 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 da. Mm, anyway, here's Christ. his rationale. Are you ready? Yes. Not because feeding your child is rape. <laughs> But because there are other ways to feed your child, even with breast milk, it's called a bottle. And yes, I do have children. <laughs> and I have a six-month-old whom drinks breast milk. Home? It's like, yeah. yeah, you know you know you've lost an argument when you drop it home. <laughs> this guy thinks he's on LinkedIn. <laughs> Uh, whom drinks breast milk but from a bottle not sucking his mother's nipples <laughs> bottom line making there's no sense it's all run on sentence yeah. it's like real Jack Kerouac moment gotcha. um, bottom line making your child suck on your nipples is all caps child molestation period and he writes period instead of putting a full stop yep, yep, yep. he doesn't actually put a full stop after period by the way <laughs> <laughs> you are making your child perform a sexual act on you that's nasty and you who do it are child molesters and need to be put in prison for molesting your children. <laughs> child molesters? Uh, I might have added in the extra ers, but uh, no, yeah, child molesters. No, that was on me. <laughs> I was going to say, I've almost got satirical there. <laughs> you think I should oh, know that one? Man. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a bit going on. <laughs> a bit going on. Any, anyone take the bait? Uh, well, me, I couldn't agree more. No, it's, it's <laughs> great that someone finally said it. Wow. <laughs> no, um, uh, did anyone take the bait? Uh, uh, I Unknown. sadly don't have the context other than that screenshot. Yeah, wow. I did see, obviously, the, the, the thread on Reddit of people being like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely like, <laughs> yeah, just, what, dude? What? Like, uh, hey, you know how everything that we talk about is horrible? You know what isn't horrible? Money. And if you have money problems, then listen the heck up. This podcast, Depravity Land, is sponsored by Cat Mountain. They are a finance brokerage. A term that I have recently learned means they lend you money. Why might you need money, you say? Well, plenty of reasons. Maybe you want to treat yourself to a holiday. Maybe you want to buy a jet ski, get your scuba diving license, uh, get a forklift license. Maybe you want reptiles. Whatever it is that you want, if you need some money to do something and you need the cash up front, talk to Cat Mountain. The link is in the description. Now, you might be thinking... Money, that sure sounds corporate, brother. I'm a depravity listener, a regular hobgoblin. Well, listen up. So is Pete, the guy who owns Cat Mountain. That's right. This is a finance brokerage on the frickin' level. You will be talking to one of you, one of us. Not some corporate stock photo, the man type. You're talking to the cool type. And jokes aside, he actually does have a brilliant list of clients. A lot of people that your sort of traditional finance brokers would say no to. He's financed sex workers, tattoo shops, black businesses, people looking for surgery where they might not be able to get money for that surgery. They're bringing a bit of heart to the finance game. And that's why we're yeah just stoked to have them as a sponsor. And if you want to help us with this whole sponsorship deal, because obviously this makes Depravity Land bigger, do follow Cat Mountain on Instagram, because that's going to be like a metric where they're like, all right, got it. This uh, whole sponsorship is working, which means the pod can grow. And if you ever need financial services, at least you, yeah, got like a company with, I don't know, who isn't evil. <laughs> you get me. Cat Mountain, check out their Instagram and their website link in the show notes. Yes. Alrighty. Back to this absolutely heinous comment. <laughs> there are so many ways to take this, but should we, uh, should, should we judge it? Let's judge it. Final judgment.
If you are new to the pod, then this is Depravity Land. It used to be called God is Dead. But what we do here is we say this content that we have brought in to endure together, as both as both Bryce Cam and you, is it proof that our world is still our world? Is it the good thing that we really think it is? Or are we in denial? And is this whole thing Depravity Land? Bryce, are we in Depravity Land? <laughs> I mean, yeah, is this guy, like, just watching too much porn? Or, like, you know, for him to, like, think that strongly it's a sexual act. I Look, you got to... We can go to the influences and maybe why it's depravity land in a second, you know. But even just on face value, I've even myself been around, let's say, fliss while breastfeeding. And I have not... The fuck? I have not heard, you know... You want to fight, bro? <laughs> I've not sensed... A, a modicum of arousal from her. <laughs> like she's not like. Sorry, guys, gotta gotta go into the next room. I'm a little bit hot and heavy right <gasps> oh now. God, Do you know dude, what I mean? That reminds me. I don't know if you've ever seen that tweet. Surely, surely, I've posted this. I'm pretty sure that I I would have referenced this in like somewhere in the 50s in the episode, not the 1950s, um, when I was born. No, um, but there's this tweet which is like um, masturbating while breastfeeding is the best orgasm I've ever had. Oh my god! No, I haven't <laughs> seen that at all. Oh but my fucking god! That's straight god. up child molestation. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I'll post that. I'll post that at Depravity Land on Instagram, and we can all just have a little giggle. We can all poke Yo, a bit of fun at these freaking psychos. Maybe those two should hang out. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, no, nah, their values are too too maligned. They but, have a um, massive debate though. You know, yeah, them on the they're, they're opposite ends of this argument. Basically, you know when people Holy talk fuck. about the vocal minorities who come together online, <laughs> those, that's that's my. I wish that was the end of the spectrum. We just know that it keeps going. But yeah, yeah you're man. right. You, you've you've uh, you've witnessed breastfeeding. Well, you know, it's like let's let's think back to. Um, uh, when J Station and his crew not only acquired the gay potion from the dark web, which is in an episode, if you look up J Station, you can hear about that. But J Station and his friend made, uh, of course, fuck me, just for a bit of context, these guys were pretending to buy potions on the dark web. They YouTubers. Won- yeah, and they, they uh, in a video, combined what they called the gay potion and the baby potion and immediately started sexualizing the gay babies that they created, which were actually two adult men pretending to be the gay babies, but being like, whoa, the, gay, the babies want to fuck. The babies want to fuck me. Ew, ew, ew. But and it was so, quite handy as a viewer because otherwise you wouldn't know they were gay. Yeah, 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 exactly. It was just like director's commentary, but for real. And like, you know, like <laughs> to, to think like, so this guy, where has he gotten the view that a baby, sure, getting your nipple sucked is a sexual it can be sexual but let's talk about this because sustenance and food there's never fucking milk coming out but here's the so how did he land there but i mean but it's it's kind of like the um argument of uh what came first the like mammary glands to preserve species like all mammals or the the fact that the feeling of like doing it sexually yeah or this uh you know yeah the the cultural sexualizing of titties Mm. So, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. How has this guy gotten to a place where he cannot <laughs> separate the sexualness from the nipple? Is like, this is this where free the nipple, you know? What about cows, bro? What do you think about cows? And yeah, oh, I mean, there are exactly... The, humans aren't the only ones that have titties that are productive. Like, <laughs> these these cows have got them, you know, dogs, whatever. Like, so, what about... What Childbirth, brother. What about uh? What yeah, about yo, yo, you, you, you <laughs> touch the clit on the way out? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? You know, like oh my ugh, goodness. Ugh. Oh, and like I mean, like irony aside, that we're two dudes doing this, bro. Shut the fuck up. You're one of us. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Come on. No, look. Seriously, where has this guy gotten this idea? It's got to be. It's got to be from the the internet. I mean, it can't be from his mates. He's not sitting at a table like yo, guys. You and your wife tries to fucking ew. Like it's got to be from the internet, right? It's so strange. I'm trying to think of a sort of metaphor where something is used for something and then people start using it for another thing until the point where somebody only thinks it's for the secondary thing. Mm. Uh, and then they critique it when it's being used for the first thing in the context of the second. I mean, Nangs. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. Like, no, Nangs But no is one's perfect. like, well, stop whipping cream over there, bro. It's, you're meant to be getting high. But but to be fair, Nangs are now kept behind the counters, uh, like IGAs and Coles and stuff. Yeah. For and those that don't know what a Nang is, international students of the pod, will, <laughs> international listeners of the pod will know 
uh, that an ang is like a whip like it, a whip it, or a bulb, cream or, charger. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we just love baking cakes over here. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you have a puffed the silly balloon. <laughs> yeah, you ever hear someone constantly inhaling and exhaling a balloon <laughs> at ever, a festival? You ever heard a few helicopters in the head, brother. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, which is actually the sound of sucking titties. Uh, Could yeah. be, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, nang titties. <laughs> <laughs> just like a novelty titty charger just for this dude. <laughs> now, two that would be stone. epic. So um, yeah, I, yeah, I feel like, come on, as if, he's like, as if his mates are sitting around at the pub going like, man, I can't bear to watch my wife try to do this. I, I don't know, but then maybe he doesn't, is someone giving him a sense check? Like surely what? he's out here preaching this to the, the the other fathers that he knows i don't know i mean on the amazing platform he has as a facebook comment section but then you also gotta wonder i mean like those poor children that poor woman mm. i'm gonna just take a wild guess that this is his idea yeah i assume the wife wasn't like yeah. yo stop being so sexual with me i don't know how dark we want to get but it's like okay whatever keeps you happy darling i mean <laughs> fuck I, I, ho- hopefully not you know but you would know, Cam. Uh, <laughs> Me. Getting getting the baby to actually start breastfeeding is not a glamorous process. It I mean, it doesn't hurts. happen for everybody as well. Like completely, and like, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I only know secondhand, obviously. But having seen all my friends who've become mums, or my sister who's become a mum, or yeah, everyone like that, it's like, it's just not straightforward. Not, and it's definitely not in the realm of being able to be critiqued by this fucking random and then let alone <laughs> be put into the same category as child molestation. That's insane. So while we insult mums, like mums who are terrified, who just want to keep this thing alive, who it, maybe it's their first kid. Maybe they're like, holy shit, I have no idea what to do. The stakes are so fucking high. Also, we're going to uh, totally just write off people who've been molested. At as a new curveball. Well, as children, because it's just like, yep, nope. Yeah. Mm, it's uh, fuck yeah. you, dude. Fuck you. Yeah, I in the in the same way that you know the internet uh, gives us this, it you know gives a megaphone to <laughs> to these dudes, and it's like it's crazy because everyone's kind of got an equal platform. But if this guy was at a party and started going like, oh fuck, it's fucking, you know, everyone would like, dude, yeah. what's wrong with you? Anyway, I think to come to that conclusion, it can only be in depravity land, right? Hundred percent. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again to Cat Mountain, our sponsor, and thank you breastfeeding for <laughs> apparently being child molestation. All right. Through the 69. Rice females. Depravity land. Check it all out. Also, there's a Discord in the link. Discord, Discord, Discord. Thank you so much to our Discord mods who work very hard to keep that thing popping. If you want to suggest cases to us, if you want to just chat about the eps, if you want to know stuff about the live shows, if you want to get down and real dirty with some of the old episodes and just know people that know what you know, it is in the description as well. Love you.